Burnaby Village Museum blacksmith Brian Ross can turn steel into Play-Doh, and he loves every second of it. It's just, it's fun. It really is a, a great place to work and a great place to visit. If I could do it year round, uh, you'd never get rid of me. Doesn't matter what the age, old and young alike enjoy the show that Brian puts on. I understand now why teachers get into the business. Because you say something and you can see that light bulb go on. Aha! And it's like a cascade of everything connecting. And you know that kid's going to remember it for the rest of his life. I like the twisting of it, seeing that done, and then the curving of the hook, I guess, how it's so easy to flatten it out and how flat he could get it with only a couple swings. Started uh, working as a machinist in Montreal. I was building hydroelectric turbines and probably half a dozen in British Columbia. It may be the 21st century, but he still believes the fire that is his job and hobby is still burning. You can't compete with a machine that can turn out 500 hooks in the time, in the time it takes me to do one. But I can make one that's the only one of its kind in the world. Program coordinator at the museum, Sanya Plushkov, says that people can have special access to his art. This year, the City of Burnaby Mayor and Council has granted us free admission uh, status, so that means that um, anyone can walk in the gate and visit the museum to watch uh, Brian, or our blacksmith, working away. With free gate admission all summer long, people have the chance to see this blacksmith have some fun. Some people just wanted to preserve the old craft. Other people just fell in love with the magic. Aaron Mackay for BCIT Magazine.